Hello, I'm Paquito G. Myers, host of this episode of the NYC IFC Indie Film Spotlight. And I am here with the creators of Unique New York with Nathan Kaufman. I have here Nathan Kaufman and the producer, the writer, Mike Hayhurst. Hi, happy to be here. Thank you for coming here and joining us, man. Uh, I must say that I took a little look into the show, and it is an ongoing series. Uh, very, very educational, but not over-educational. It's fun, nice bite-sized bits about New York. Makes the city more relatable instead of less uh, daunting and overbearing. But now, I have to say, what was your inspiration for this project? I'm a New York City tour guide. I've been guiding for about a decade. I have an acting background and have been afforded a couple of opportunities to do some guiding on television. And I had some positive feedback and was informed that it probably would be the best idea if I started making my own content, put some feelers out, got in touch with Mike, and we started collaborating a couple of years ago. Yeah. Uh-huh. yeah. And it's been really a positive experience. What challenges or Anything strange or extraordinary happen? Any any interesting stories to tell? Yeah. The production? Well, working on the streets of New York City, you can trust that a lot of extraordinary things happen. You can't always control the environment. With the episode that we submitted to the festival, um, which is before Central Park, where we explore what happened before uh, the park was actually built, <laughs> the biggest challenge was the amount of ground we had to cover. That was a long day. We did that whole shoot in one day. We started at the very bottom of the park and made it to the very top. That's 843 acres. Um, it was a long, hot day. You know, how do you stay fresh? How do you keep your energy up? Um, but that was just working in the park. You know, we have episodes inside the subways, on the streets, Times Square. Um, so every day kind of faces a different sort of challenge. So that definitely keeps it fresh and keeps the creative juices going. Yeah, we're running and gunning out there. And um, I get to be on camera. This guy's carrying around all the equipment. So you have your own set of challenges. Yeah, we're a, a two-man crew. So um, he's on camera. He needs to look good and fresh. You don't see me, so I get loaded up with the backpack, <laughs> the camera, the batteries, the water, the wardrobe changes, everything else. And this guy's surprisingly quick on his feet. So I'm just trying to keep up, trying to you know, capture him and his adventures and I, everything he's trying to, uh, to kind of say and share with our audience. So There's a lot of variables that you have to deal with out there. And so sometimes you have to get a little gorilla with it too. Um, just figure out things on your toes, um, problem solve in the moment, deal with what you're given. And uh, it's sometimes that spontaneity that actually brings out a lot of fun stuff in our episodes. Oh, Absolutely. Absolutely. I mean, that's like a testament to indie filmmaking because, mm -hmm. you know, we don't have necessarily have the budget to lock down streets. So, you know, so you got to steal the shot whenever you can get it. Right? Yeah. <laughs> you do what you can. One of, uh, one of the highlights for me at the end of each season, I put together like the blooper reel and the <laughs> outtakes. And so we've got members of the public walking through. We've got people thinking we're like an HBO show. Like clearly we're the scale of an HBO <laughs> show. Um, <laughs> you know, it's every, every shoot is a challenge and, uh, yeah, just exciting. It's uh, it's great fun. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. Cool, and it translates through the camera. Like I said, I was hooked. Uh, the episode's a nice bite size. Mm -hmm. I watched the first one. It was over, and I'm like, I need more. Yeah. Next. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, what lessons have you guys learned, like as far as production, filmmaking during this project? Um, with an acting background, my you know film uh, experience was pretty limited, so I, I do learn a lot from Mike. And over the years of doing this, I would say that um, being as well prepared as possible, going in on the day, having an idea of what you want to talk about, where the locations are going to be, expect as much as possible, but then when the time comes, being able to stay relaxed, continue to have fun so that they can translate onto the camera. Yeah, I think that's it. We can do as much pre-production as possible. You can location scout as much as possible. But then this is New York City. Sometimes there's a random protest or a yeah. random street parade, and we just need to roll with it. And then, you know, in the edit, I try and figure it out and piece together that, you know, that episode with that through line that kind of has that nice kind of four to seven minute kind of time, time frame. So it's kind of accessible and bite-sized for our current audience. Um, so, yeah, I mean... 
was it prepare for the best? No, hope for the best, prepare yeah. for the worst? Yeah. Is that the thing? Yeah, that's, again, indie filmmaking, run and gun, mm -hmm. uh, kind of, yeah. We could make longer episodes, but we really want to distill all the information um, to make it uh, that much more interesting, get people leaning forward, and like you said, hopefully come back to watch the next episode. Last question now. What would be like your ultimate goal? What do you wish to accomplish with this series? Um, I think we have a lot of goals. Um, as far as the content is concerned, we want to give people the experience of being in New York City. A lot of the of shows that could be considered similar to ours have a lot of talking heads and a lot of B-roll footage in the background. We want to give people an experience of being inside the city. We want to move the camera. We want to uh, have you feel how crowded it can be in Times Square as opposed to how um, uh, uh, really how peaceful Central Park can be in contrast. New York City is not for everybody, and you have a lot of people that think it's just going to be hot, crowded subway platforms and the M&M store, and it is that, but it's a lot more, and we want to give them the experience of being inside that. At the same time, I think we also have a goal of getting this to a broader audience. We want more people to see this. We want more people to have this experience and learn more about New York City and really how amazing and inspiring it can be. Yeah, and I think that translates whether you live here, whether you were born here, or whether you don't. I mean, this, this city is so iconic. I mean, everyone in the world kind of grows up with that skyline, with the yeah. yellow taxi cab, with the blue coffee cup, which we do have an episode about, which you should check out on Facebook. Um, so, yeah, you know, when we, when we do live here, kind of being able to look at the city in a different way and these things that we take for granted, just kind of saying, hey, just take a second, and this is where this came from. This is the history behind this thing. And like Nathan was saying if you if you're you know you can't visit you don't want to visit something like that you can kind of get beneath the surface and see hey you've seen this on law and order but this is actually more interesting than that episode <laughs> like the history behind this building or this iconic new york thing is um you know is more interesting than just the image on screen so uh, people who watch the show and people who come and visit New York are constantly surprised at what they experience. And we, as New Yorkers, are surprised, too, um, <laughs> by what we experience. And I think that we're both kind of inspired by that. We want to share that with as many people as possible. From my point of view, it definitely comes through. You've got another subscriber and another fan. Thank and you. I am a little bit more informed about this uh, great city of New York because of it, man. And I would like to thank you guys again for being on the show. Check them out, Unique New York with Nathan Kaufman. I'm Paquito G. Myers, and I will see you next time.